morning. We're continuing our previous example. We're looking at section 1.5, best fitting curves, and we've already looked at adding the line. We're going to see what happens if we add other kind of equations to that curve. Once again, we'll want to plot the data, add a trend line, and see the formula, bring the formula back, and now we want to think about how we choose formulas. So we already had a line produced. I'm going to start with a new graph. So I'm going to insert a scatter plot and do this scatter plot again. And once again, I'm going to do trend line. I need to select the data points, add a trend line. I'm going to make it linear, except this time I'm going to set the intercept that I'd like the intercept to be 0, 0, because I think when someone works no time, they should be producing no widgets at all. I'd like to see the equation on the chart. If we go back to home and make this a reasonable size in order to be able to see it, we see we have a direct proportion now, so that essentially we're saying people are producing six widgets an hour. Once again, we're going to copy that in. Once we have it copied in, we're going to translate into Excel. That should be times B1 and drag across. Notice our numbers are slightly different. I'm going to make my font size consistently 12, but they're pretty close. And as I get up to some of the bigger numbers, they're exactly the same thing. Um, I'm tempted, however, to look just not at that, but to say I'd like to fit my curve even better. So I'm once again going to insert a scatter plot and produce a trend line. Except this time I'm going to make it a polynomial trend line of degree 5. I'd like to see the equation on the chart. Expect the higher degree polynomial to be a better fitting curve, but we see there are problems. According to this version, if I work zero hours a week, I'm going to produce about a quarter of a million widgets, which is obviously a silly answer. It winds up being much more wrong for answers outside our range. The other problem is the number of digits, my coefficient of the fifth degree only has two six significant digits. That's going to cause problems later in computations. We'd like to have a simple formula that makes sense, either the linear model or the proportional model in this case. Thank you.